bless you. He's my comfort. He has always held us close. Brothers and sisters, our God has never failed us. He has never left us part way. He has always been with us a good shepherd, the great shepherd, and we bless him. We magnify his wonderful name. He's worthy to be praised. The Bible says so. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the very same, our God is worthy to be praised. He is great, he is glorious, he is marvelous, he is magnificent, he is God all by himself. And today we bless his wonderful name. We place him at the highest place because there is no other God but Jehovah God. None can stand before him. There was none before him, there is none now with him, and there will none, none will be to come. He is God, he is great, he is powerful. He spoke, it was done, he commanded, and it came forth. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. He is God, he is great, he is awesome, he is powerful, he is rich, he is mighty and marvelous, he is excellent in all the earth, O oh God. Oh Lord, our oh Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, Lord Jesus. Today, we as young people, we exalt you. Today, as young people, we lift you up. We say, Jesus, you are excellent. We say, Jesus, you are great. You walk on the waters. You ride on the wings of the wind. You do great and marvelous things as we have never seen or heard of before. You are all by yourself, Lord Jesus. And today, from Eastwood Park Church, we lift Jesus high. We bless Jesus. We glorify Jesus. We say to the world, Jesus is King of Kings. And Jesus is Lord. Oh Lord, what a mighty God we serve. We are secured in Jesus. We are happy in Jesus. We are comfortable in Jesus. In spite of all that is happening around us, we are all right because we have Jesus. Though the mountains be moved and be carried in the midst of the sea. Oh Jehovah God. Though the seas roar and the devil does his job, we are secure. Jesus my God I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I love you Jesus let the world hear me say it let the world hear you say it I love you Jesus let the world hear you say it I love you Jesus praise God praise God praise God praise God my brothers and my sisters glad to be here today to worship with you. What a time we have been having in the presence of the Lord. From the moment we have walked into this sanctuary, it is obvious that God's presence had just ample up this place, and this church is just on fire. This church is just a place with the power of the Holy Ghost. Thanks be to God. My brothers and sisters, we will forever praise our God all the days of our lives. We will worship Jesus Christ. Let me bless God for his servant, Bishop Dr. Clark. Of course, I am never and will never be ashamed to have sat at, a feet, at feet like yours. We are blessed. You call us luminaries. We call you an institution. You know how to get the best out of people. You are an empower. You are like, you are like Barnabas. You empower those around you. And may God bless you. And we are grateful for the years that we have been journeying with you. You have been a model and one that we really look up to. God bless you. And so say all of us. <laughs> God bless you, Dr. Clark. And of course, I you will give my greetings to Sister Clark and the children. And Raquel is at the same journey, likewise. So my brothers and sisters, we want to also greet, of course, the council of this church. Wonderful, able council who helped the servant of the Lord. To do the ministry of God. God bless your counsel. Everybody, musicians, choristers, every one of you see study running and the operation of this wonderful church in general, the kingdom of the Lord. God bless you. Trisha, did I get that right, Shana? Did I get that right? You are tremendous. You are a blessing. Dr. Clark, know to dig out some things out, people. You know. God bless you. Keep going. God bless you. Let me bless also, Vaughn. 
they have such a humble and kind person. I'll never forget the kindness um, when we wanted to have contact. They were so accommodating and kind. God bless and the church in general. And Christabel who gives leadership to, to the teens ministry. I bless you, my brothers and sisters. And um, nationally, of course, um, Monroe, brother Monroe Wisdom, he, he heads our, he coordinates the teens nationally, and I bless him also. I'm not that great and brilliant. All these guys, many of us sat and we put hands and heart together, and we work it like that. It's a team effort. And we just look forward for a great teens week this week. We just look like the devil is going to be running mad and scared of the young people this week because of the power of God and the ministries that are about to take place. And the lives of our young people will never be the same. They will just be just great things for the kingdom of the Lord. And we look forward to that, my brothers and my sisters. I also must give my own greetings to Sister Gabriel and those girls. God bless you, woman of God. Good to see you. It's been a while. God bless you. Brothers and sisters, Indeed, it is good to be in the house of the Lord. The scripture was read from St. John chapter 6, 1 through 14. Well, let me just use the privilege of reminding you of a couple of verses. But before I do so, I really want Sharon and Brother Campbell to know that I've been praying for you and the loss that you are suffering now, that pain. Sharon, of course, is my admin assistant who makes me look good. I continue to say that. God bless you. I appreciate you and I'm praying for you and for your family. You're blessed anyway because your mom and dad who is near 90 or anywhere they're about is still alive, still traveling on planes by themselves and so. So we still pray that God will give you and the rest of your family grace to continue. My brothers and sisters from St. John chapter 9, sorry, St. John chapter 6, and I read to us from verse 9, just a couple of verses that we may have a center to work with. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far will they go among so many? Jesus said, the, Jesus said, have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in the place and they sat down. About 5,000 men were there. Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of five barley loaves and two and left over. Sorry. Let me read that again. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. After the people saw the sign Jesus performed, they began to say, Surely this is the prophet who is to come into the world. Heavenly Father, we humble our hearts before you, O God. Lord, we empty ourselves before you, just like you did Jesus, the kenosis, the emptying of yourself. Lord, I come before you. I have not my own agenda or my own will or wishes. God, I am thine and you are mine. I am your servant. God, I can only do what you tell me. So please speak to my heart, oh God. Your people are waiting to hear you, not me. Your name is to be glorified, Heavenly Father. God Almighty, we silence every force of hell, every power of evil, every attack from hell, oh God, we have already nullified. And God, we declare that this atmosphere, the, the web belongs to you. Everywhere that this world will go now, that Lord Jesus, you'll be in charge of any father. God, the prince of the ear, can do this word no harm. Your people are here, oh God. Their hearts, Heavenly Father, are followed, oh God. They are broken up, Heavenly Father. And God, good seed will be sown and fruit will be brought forth to your honor and to your glory. Bless our time spent together this moment. We ask also that you forgive us of our sins, those that we know of and those that we do not know of, Heavenly Father. We have no boldness, O oh God, but in the name of Jesus Christ and in his blood only. We come before you, Heavenly Father. Take charge, O oh God, and lead as you have been doing, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your blessings on us today. Thank you for, oh God, the songs done, oh God. Lord Jesus, the scriptures read, the exchanges that have taken place so far. Oh God, you have been with us, Heavenly Father, and you have begun a good work. You will finish this even now, Almighty God. 
We bless you, we praise you, and we lift the name up high, O oh God. And all the teenagers and young people in this house, we say glory and amen in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. My brothers and my sisters, I feel that some young people have more than they really think they do. I really think so. It is obvious today from what I've heard and seen so far. Many times we doubt them. Many times we feel as though they have some shortcoming. But we know, my brothers and sisters, that from Bible, there are several young persons that are mentioned in the Bible who have, whom God has used to do great and marvelous and mighty things. Church, we can go, my brothers and sisters, to David. He's a perfect example of a teenager who was mighty in the hand of God. Samuel, young, just the same, but powerful in the hands of God. Joseph, my brothers and sisters, is equally good. Not to mention the young man, Joshua, while he was Moses' protege. You would know by scholarship, uh, scholars told us that he was still a teenager when he was wielding swords and fighting the battles of God. My brothers and my sisters, Josiah, the same, a young man, but God put his hand upon him, and he is known as one of the greatest reformer and one of the most righteous men from a young age in the Bible. My brothers and sisters, the gospel's just the same. I'll have some young persons that they have mentioned. Albeit they might have not done that kind of work, but we see Jesus at 12 years old, that he was mighty, marveling the, the men whom he sat with, the lawyers and the doctors. They were worried just to hear how this young man spoke. Church of the living God, the 12 year old girl dead, may never have done the miracle and manifested God in her own ways, but through the power of the Lord Jesus resting upon her. Brothers and sisters, the young little children, they were chased away, but Jesus said, These are examples by which a church must look. That's how we are to behave. We know, my brothers and sisters, that young people have power and great grace when God's hands are upon their lives. See what my brothers and sisters, we see also in the four Gospels right now, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. There are two miracles that they all mention. All four Gospels spoke of only two miracles together. Number one is the resurrection. All of them, those men, they spoke of that. And number two is this miracle that is set before us. The feeding of the 5,000. My brothers and sisters, Matthew spoke of it. Luke spoke of it. Mark spoke of it. But when they spoke of it, they never mentioned anything at all about a little boy, a lad. Only John, from whom we will clean this day, spoke of a lad that was there. In those days, they never cared too much to talk about these kind of a young people. If you know, they were pushing away the children. So John made sure as he compliments the other three writers to let you know that this was not only just a somebody with bread, but this was a young person who has the bread, the ingredients that Jesus wanted to perform a miracle. Church of the living God. I see my brothers and sisters in the text church that Jesus was preaching and teaching thank you sir by the sea of Tiberias when Jesus done Jesus was preaching church for three days he run a gospel crusade and people never wanted to go anywhere my God sometimes I wonder if I can hold it for 45 minutes but Jesus had a crusade for three days and the Bible says to us young people that nobody left the crusade young and old everybody stayed to hear the wisdom and power of the almighty God to be healed by the power that was coming from Jesus but my brothers and sisters as the third day draws to a close Jesus look on the people and the good shepherd stay with me young people oh God Jesus the good shepherd that he was he looked on the young people and everybody around and he saw that they have been with him all this time and they were now hungry and he was now dismissing them he recognized that if I had if he dismisses them in that state anything can happen when a man is hungry he'll feed 
ailment, all kind of something may happen, some may have all kind of diseases that demand that they should eat. So Jesus said to this, the disciples, recognize the calamity that could have come also. And they said to Jesus, Jesus, they have been here long enough. Send them away because it's almost night and there's nothing to eat. Jesus said to them, why don't you give them something to eat? My brothers and sisters, Jesus turned. Oh God. God to Philip. Oh, how many of us knows that Jesus is a wise God. He has knowledge. He is so smart. He turns to Philip because Philip was from that part of the country. So Jesus knows that Philip was from that place. So Philip would have known where are all the shops, where are the tasties, the mothers, the Popeyes, the Burger King. Jesus knew that Philip, that, that Philip knows where are all these. Philip said, man, I can't. I, it doesn't make sense sense. Half a year's wage, eight months of work could never suffice for all of these. Jesus asked the man, where oh God can I get this? He never asked him because he wanted to know. Jesus asked Philip to build his faith in him the Lord Jesus Christ. Young people Jesus knows and want to build your faith in him because he knows that you have the goods which you are ready. All he wants is just to elevate and to mature and to build that goods into proper use for his glory. You have the goods already. Can I talk to the church? Young people, listen to me. Oh, I look in the Bible and Moses said, Israel, oh God, with, 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 with manna, what God sent down 40 years in the desert. I also saw Elijah, oh God Almighty, when the men came, a hundred men, and Elisha also had 20 loaves of bread, and Elijah worked a miracle also. He fed those around him with those loaves. My brothers and sisters, the man come back to Jesus, and he said, Jesus, all we die, all we have are two little dry up sprat and five barley loaves. My brothers and sisters, Jesus must have smiled and said, Little pitney, you feel you don't have much, but if you have that much, I'm gonna make something out of you. You have the goods already, and I'm gonna elevate you with the same goods I have right now. You have the goods. Young people, hear me church of the living God. They said to Jesus, Jesus, there's a lot here. My brothers and sisters, the word, why they run? Same road that you get pediatrician from can be translated boy or girl. But John causes us to know that this was not a girl, but a boy who had the lunch. My brothers and sisters, it is interesting church that the uh, bread, at least this bread, Barley was poor people food. Only poor people eat barley, Trisha. Lord God Almighty and fish. Rich people ate wheat bread and meat. So you recognize right away that this little lad, this young man, this young person was a poor boy. My God Almighty. But Jesus had entrusted him with the goods that he wanted for the miracle. You may not feel that you are sufficient or great. You pour your down. You are not the best anyway. But young boy, young girl, let me tell you, you have the goods with you that Jesus wants to use to change the world around you. Oh, oh God Almighty. Oh God. Oh, I find this interesting. My brothers and sisters, stay with me, church. That uh, the, 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 the prevalence of fish uh, made it poor people food and barley. Oh God, uh, poor people think that. Mm. My brothers and sisters, the boy or uh, the young person has the recipe that Jesus could have used uh, that none of the disciples, the writers could have overlooked uh, this miracle that the young lad had. How many of you know young people that you have it already within you? It's already placed inside of you. Jesus place it right there in your young brother, young sister. Don't feel yourself too small. Don't feel yourself too insignificant. Don't feel and weak because your strength is in Jesus. Your power is in God. Your brilliance is in Jesus. All that you need to succeed is in you. You have the gods. You have the recipe with you already. It is right there. 
It is right there. It is right there with you, my brothers and my sisters. Hear me, young people, for the next few minutes. Let me preach to you. <clears throat> ah, ah, there was a pastor. And somebody made his lunch. And they called a little boy, a lad, and said, Take this to the pastor. Oh, God Almighty, rice and peas and chicken and vegetable and whatever else was there. The boy said, When he brought the food to the pastor, Mm -hmm. the pastor when the pastor opened the dish and was about to eat his lunch all he saw in the plate was some tomatoes oh god almighty everything done so they said why did you eat the pastor's food he said i never know that it was the pastor's all he brought for the pastor and he didn't know was the tomato lord god almighty i said to you young people that god had entrusted you god could not trust peter with the food Matthew, oh god almighty None of the disciples to carry the bread and the fish. All Jesus could have trusted was a young boy, a little person, a young youth, young youth. Let me tell you, God trusts you. God had entrusted you with the power and the grace to do great things. He never trusted the Lord. Are you God gave? Yes. You God give. You God give. Oh, you think it easy? We sit down there with food three days and three nights. I walk up and down with Hax, Oliver, Samuel, and Glenn Campbell. They said, just a little piece and a little tops. And we take a little piece of the Maxwell board and it done. But Jesus could have found a little boy and said, Boy, hold that bread here for me. Say, You to carry that preacher for me. And all through Jesus is preaching the ladder and the recipe for the miracle. He discerned that there was a greater purpose that to eat this he knew in his spirit uh, that God was gonna do something mighty to him uh, young people God uh, is gonna do mighty things through you you have the goods already you have the fish with you you have the bread with you you have the Holy Ghost with you you have the word with you you have the life with you you have good people praying for you you have uh, the goods uh, you walk uh, with the goods uh, you're walking with God you're walking in the world. You have it already. You have it. You have it. You have the goods. You have it. My brothers and my sisters, Bishop, you and I know some white people need only for food. Ah, uh, Chanel can't eat what we have. Chanel can't eat. And Chanel must eat more than you right now. I was afraid of me when I was a teenager. Oh God, you wouldn't know the amount of food I ate while I was a teenager. No, I don't bother to eat that much again. Lord God Almighty, my grandmother used to say, you're a greedy boy. But she never had the knowledge to know that I was growing and that I would eat so much. My brothers and sisters, but when I watch, look, for three days, the boy have the fish with all kind of onions on it, all kind of scallion and thyme and vinegar and pepper. Here, somebody you said I can't cook. That's all right. All kind of pepper and all kind of something on it. And everywhere he go, it does smell up him nostril. But he say, you're not tempt me. Me not eat it. Jesus want it. And the goods this for the miracle. Young people, you have it with you. God give you already. Star up the gift that are in you. Go sing for God. Go preach to God. Go read the Bible for God. Go pray for Jesus Christ. You have the goods with you. Father, listen to me, my brothers and my sisters. Oh God Almighty. And Jehovah's our honorable prime minister, he went to heal the family, heal the nation. Oh God, by Dr. Delford Davis's ministry, he was speaking. My brothers and sisters, hear me, young people. Oh God Almighty says in his speech, as I read the Gleaner and the Luke News, he said that oh the police force and the security forces rather are doing very well. He had purchased some them hardware. He has purchased some them software, but he's 
calling upon the church because the church now have hardware and software but the church has hardware may I tell you young people oh God you have the codes the hardware to cheat the nation to mash up the devil's kingdom to pull down hell to plunder hell to strike the devil because you have the hardware I call it to Florida you have the hardware the hardware and the software the father the son and the Holy Ghost the word the strength and the power of the Almighty God you have it within you we see in our country the crimes that are perpetuated and the wickedness being done are among mostly our men 16 to 24 years old the prime minister a little frustrated oh god almighty we pray for him that he continues to lead well but he's a little frustrated as he speaks oh he's admitting his limitations that the software and the hardware of the security forces are in uh, complete are incomplete are not sufficient rather to carry out the task is looking to the church but we the church we turn to the young people oh do you understand young people that while this covid virus came in a lot of young people jump online help the church to be online a lot of young people meddle and double and work in the technology area and cause the church not only this one but all the Across the world to be vibrant. I am saying to you today, oh God, young people, teenagers of this blessed EPR church, that you have a get up, you have the goods in you, you have the product that can heal the world and heal the nation and the hardware and software and the guns and bullets. But there's some young man who got called on because they are strong, who pray in the morning, who pray in the day, who pray in the night, and the one prayer your prayer, your prayer at night, your prayer at here, your prayer when you're weary, your prayer when you're cheery, your prayer when you're sad, your prayer when you're happy, your prayer when you feel God, and when you don't feel God, you're still a prayer, I know nobody else can help, the crime, the problem, as some teenager, a V-suit park, as some young people with the power and the anointing, who has the goods that Jesus had invested in, behold, I give you power, more power over the powers of darkness, over the plans of hell, over the devil. Be all young people, teenagers. I give you power. You have the goods. You have the goods. Young people, you have the goods. You have the goods. Your feet you don't have it. But I am here to tell you today that Jesus said to tell you, you have the goods. You have the remedy. You have the solution. You have the fix it. You can fix it up. You God has in, God have invested in. You have it. Jesus had laid his hand upon you. Oh God. God speak over your life. And no devil can stop you. You must start prayer for your neighbors. Young people start prayer for your peer group. Young people start witness to your colleague at school. Your colleague at work. Because you have the goods. Young man. I call upon you because you are strong, not with muscles, but with mental ability and power. The younger you are, the stronger the brain, and the more the word of God can latch into it, and the more you can remember when you have the word. Young man, young girl, I call upon you because you are strong. You have the goods, oh, the land, the hands that were laid on you, the prophet offices that were spoken over you they are in your life uh, bring them to life uh, you have the goods uh, you have the goods I uh, say get up from where you are uh, stand up from where you are uh, move from where you are there's another place uh, Zion uh, is calling you to a higher place uh, Zion is calling you to a higher level you have the goods uh, you never only walk with it you are going to share it you have the goods. Young people, you have the goods. My brothers and my sisters, I watch the text, young people. And the Bible says to us, Jesus. 
took the loaves. Jesus just multiplied anything given him exponentially. Oh, you may feel that you're at, not at your best. Or you are the lowest you can think of. Well, let me tell you something, young people. That the God that you serve, his hands are upon you. The little boy poor, he only have two little fish and five barley loaves. But Jesus put his hands upon them. Jesus can use the little that you have. Age is no barrier. Oh God Almighty. Age is no barrier. You can prophesy. You can preach. You can speak in tongues. You can lead prayer meeting. You can lead a service. Age is not a barrier for Jesus Christ. Little is much when God is in it, Bishop. Oh God, you labor not for wealth or fame. Young people, you have to give up so Something sometime and draw near to God if you have it within you and you know do not not talk about it the gift is going to stay the same place but when you seek to mature and to build the gifts then my brothers and sisters your life and your ministry your purpose and your calling will come to fore you have the gift Gabriel you have it within you Gabriel you have it within you oh, you have the goods with you Jesus had invested it in you Make yourself available. Make yourself available. Lord God, the temptations are strong. The boy must have wanted to eat. Oh God, the bread and the fish. He was tempted. He was tempted to the core of his hungry soul. But he was more hungry for, for, for Jesus than for bread. Young people, put on the food sometime. Ah, lift up a fast into God. Leg out the Burger King. Left out the Popeyes. Left out the KFC. Oh God. And seek Jesus. Fast like the lad. Him have food for heat. But him still fast. And I had him never have none at all for He had it. He had it with him. But he knows that there's a greater need than for the things of the world. When we turn our eyes and Jesus are filled. God in other house. When we turn our eyes and Jesus, young people, the things of this world, they grow strangely. They go dim. They go dark. Oh, the glory of Jesus. The closer I get, the more I see the glory of the soul. Come in, King. Young people say, draw me nearer. God, draw me. I have the goods for you. God, draw me. Oh, oh Lord, my brothers and my sisters, Jesus, oh God, will do the hard part. Oh God, the boy can bring, the young youth can bring the, the recipe, but the young youth don't have to worry about the miracle. You don't have to worry about the miracle. I know your job that. I know your job that. Your job of uh, show up at church uh, from COVID. Uh, your online church are uh, the only. Can I preach some gospel in another church uh, from COVID? A uh, online church are uh, the only. Watch the church. Uh, people sitting six feet apart. Uh, masks are being worn. Sanitization taking place. Cleaning of the sanctuary in and before service and after service. Temperature tested. Oh God, young people, come off a line. Uh, yes, me now, so you must watch uh, the service online. But but I call you to come at church. I call you to come in at the sanctuary. I call you to come among the members. I call you to forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. I call you from behind the screen. I call you in the church of the living God. You have the goods. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> Don't worry about your heart, part. Jesus part that Jesus will take care of the hard part you just do what you have to do because Jesus now call you and now equip you Jesus gives you everything you need to succeed every single thing you want to succeed Jesus has placed it within you you have the goods you have it with you stop farm fool stop farm fool of yourself stop feeling that you can't make it 
Stop feeling that you're drying out. Stop feeling that you're weak. Stop feeling that you can't sing. Stop feeling that you can't do anything at church. Stop feeling that you know, you're a place that, uh, oh, no, feel that way there. You have the goods already. Jesus uh, has already invested it in you. I'm coming home shortly. Church, after living God, I look in the text, Bishop, and I see that Jesus works along with others. He gave thanks. The disciples distributed. Oh, youth, you have to carry out the work. Jesus lift up the bread. And Jesus, Jesus never prayed the Lord. Bless the bread here. Those men, they never pray for the blessing of the bread. They have only blessed God. The Hebrew prayer over their food was Blessed God, we thank you that you have provided food. They never asked God to bless the food because they felt that God had already blessed the meal that they gave him. So what they did was to give God thanks. Look in the scriptures carefully. And at all times, what you see, they gave thanks to God. So Jesus gave thanks. Break the bread and give the disciples. Oh God Almighty, I see that in ministry and work, there's a partnership between young people and God. God not do it by himself. Himself. God now come down our heart, come witness to your friends who open your mouth and witness to your friend. It's a partnership with you and the Almighty God. God now come down, come pray in a Eastwood Park. God, I'm going to use your mouth to pray in a Eastwood Park. Young people, God now come lay your hand upon nobody. You better lift up your hands when the time right and lay it because you and God are in a partnership. You and God know in a malice, some people say, You and God. Is in part are in partnership. God is working with you. When you work with Him, He work with you because great God wants to do great things through the young people of this church. Jesus told, "I see young people, the two little sprat, because I sprat everyone, and poor man bread. What that young boy I give?" Jesus, I recognize something critical. Bishop, young people hear me. That something was very important. The Greeks say they were satisfied. Emplem plempi. Make me like it. Me like the ring about it. Just Emplem plempi. Lord God Almighty. So Jesus said, they tell Jesus, Jesus, we are emplem plempi. Oh God Almighty, yes, me know you can't translate that one there. A Greek, your pastor is a scholar who taught me. Oh God Almighty, all it means that means that we are satisfied. That's what they said. Everybody was satisfied. My brothers and sisters, the boy, the young girl, the young youth only have two fish and five loaves. Oh God, that couldn't feed the 5,000 men and plus how many other thousand. But when Jesus done, the Bible says everybody was satisfied. Everybody was all right. Your residue is much greater than when you start. The residue will left off for you is even greater than that which you have. What well, you have no one or not yet, wait till when God touch it up a little more and let you go. All the residue will left over. It's going to be greater. Your latter shall be greater than your beginning. Young people hear me in this house. They satisfied everybody, you know. So everybody was satisfied, but something still left over. Wally still left over. Oh, the young boy residue greater than when him start. You know, see not yet. You know, sing good yet. You know, preach good yet. You know, read Bible good yet. You know, sign good yet. You know, do nothing good yet. Wait until when God say me satisfied. Oh, the devil is going to be afraid of you. Hell is going to run from you. Oh, God, the devil is going to tremble when you open your mouth. When you wave your hands, devil fall over. When you lay your hands, young people, people are going to get healing. You know, see not in your life yet. Them little subject they are not yet. God have greater things for you. Because your residue, your left over, is going to be greater than that which you started. Than that which you started. You're going to be mighty. You're going to be powerful. You're going to be greater. You feel you're at a good place? Let this pastor tell you. You're not seeing not yet. When God gets done with you, oh, the devil not going to be able to touch you. The powers of evil not going to be able to befall you because the hand of God is going to be greater on your life than when you started. Hmm. Give me just about eight, eight to start some. 
I come now. I come now. Church, have to live in God. The lily boy. The little boy with the whole people that say shit, man. Bishop, now you know them things. You hear me know somebody, you know, know shit, man. And the whole people, them run for container with food. You, you hear me, young picnic? You hear me? Yes, are you me a dog? And the, uh, yes, you know, Shetpan, and the whole people them language for your food that you put in your container these days. They call it Shetpan. So my brothers and sisters, in the Hebrew context of Jesus' context, Sharon, when the men walk, uh, they would have walked with, uh, with baskets. They have a couple of things that they walk with. They walk with the scripture on the face and on the hand. They walk with those. But they also carry their food because the Jews were particular what they eat. They wouldn't eat at any and any restaurant. <coughs> I'm sorry. So they carry their food with them. You have two types of baskets. One huge like a hamper. And then you have a little small one that they hang on their hand. That they carry with their food. Now the Bible says to us, my brothers and my sisters, that when Jesus done, Jesus said to them, take up all the pieces that were left. My brothers and sisters, you note something carefully. There were 12 baskets of crumbs that were picked up. Note carefully that there was nothing there at the beginning. Oh God Almighty, nothing at all at the start of the whole thing. But when everything was over, the young boy gave a leftover. The young boy made them have residue. So the 12 disciples will never have nothing at all for him. Everybody have a basket of food. What a one little boy. Lunch. Lord Jesus Christ, church. You to have the goods with you. You have the goods, youth. You have the goods with your youth. All big man, the little youth start feeding. Because uh, he knows what God had entrusted him with. Uh, and he had guarded that with his life. Uh, and had handed it over to Jesus. Come on young people. Let go out of something. Hand yourself over to Jesus teenager. Hand yourself over to the care of Jesus Christ. Let go out of the world. Let go the world. Let go the sixes. Let go the cartel. Let God help that boss. Lord God Almighty, when you go up on your pin stressor, Lord Jesus, and your TikTok for your minute video, make sure it's that Jesus you put up on it. Oh God Almighty, can I talk to my young people as I get ready to close? Put up Jesus upon it, my brothers and my sisters. When you go on social media, they must say, Oh, your God, your God is so. Oh, you go on like your holy, holy so. But you know what God is doing in your life. You have the goods with you. Hmm. I'm going to stop because nothing shall be wasted from your life. Not one little tinky incy bincy wit of anything from your life, young people, is going to be wasted. Not an indie tinsy bit, nothing at all. Do you hear what I said to you? Your sleepless night. Up studying Gabriel, it will never be wasted. Do you understand me, church? You understand me, young people? Van, as your lead, the young people of this church, not one little bit from the life from what you do is going to be wasted. Are you hearing me, young people of this church? Not one thing from your life is going to be wasted. Not a single thing will be wasted. I close. At the start, there was a problem. The problem arose. People are listening to Jesus. Three days. Nothing at all for them. For the problem, there was a solution. The solution was sent. There are three crises, eras that were raised. Send them away. If we work on half, half, three quarter year, half year wage, we still would just be sufficient for each person to take a buy. But Andrew, the people, person that Andrew was, he was a had a verse of word sermon, you know. He was a people person. When you trace his life from John 1, you find out how, how intimate he was with, with people. When it comes to this also, and John chapter 12, you find that Andrew is always bringing people to God. But at this time, he says, I found a, 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 a little boy with just two fish and five loaves. But that can't do anything at all. They had the problem, but Jesus had the solution. Young people, you have the goods. You just need Jesus to hack up on the goods. You have it with you, young people. And now he took the rice and the, and the chicken and left it to me. The goods stay there. 
you have the goods. Give it over to the Lord. Let the Lord use you in prayer. Use you in fasting. Use you in worship. Use you in singing. Use you to witness to your friend. The role that the Prime Minister said that we are not going to change it by hardware and software and military hardware. What is going to change it is uh, are some young people with, with hardware, with the things of God. Some young people declaring that Jesus Christ is Lord to help some of these men. And deviant in our society. My brothers and sisters, young people, you have the goods. Use it. Give it over to God for his glory and his honor. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Have a tremendous day to you.